So continuing to field more questions for USMLE, student asked through a DM, the best way to study PATH for the step one. This is an easy question for me to address. I will give you a very excellent, concise answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which is the best way to study PATH for step one. And I said I can give an excellent answer. And the reason is because the best way to study for PATH is through QBanks. Okay, so you are going to do as many questions as you possibly can throughout your prep. Okay, you're obviously, those of you watching this, at different durations out from your exam, and you are going to be knocking out as many questions as you can through uh, QBank in random mode, okay? That's going to be current, that's going to be something you do throughout the duration of your prep, no matter how far out you are, okay? I've talked about in some of my other clips, if you're, let's say, very far out, a year out from your exam, I still recommend you being on questions, okay? You can do earlier QBanks, such as USMLE RX, that's a possibility, but we want you building out your path through questions. Now, if you're going to be using a resource such as Pathoma, BRS, okay, there's different ways to prepare. Many students like Pathoma. Obviously, it's a very popular resource. Many students studying for the exam are aware of that resource, and that's fine to use, okay? Uh, students do like Pathoma. I was very old school in terms of using BRS Path, okay? So BRS Path, very concise book. Okay, you're going to have really good bullet points in there. It's not a waste of time. It's a pretty good path. It's a pretty good path book to go through. Um, very easy to read. It's not overwhelming. If you take a resource like Golion, uh, uh, Golion Path, that large textbook, it's a great book. It's just too much detail for USMLE. Okay, we have to increase your scores in the least amount of time possible, and I think doing that is best achieved through questions. And if you need a resource, you can use BRS Path, that's a wooden tennis racket, or you can use Pathoma, which many students seem to be content with. Okay, so that's my two cents. Do lots of questions, okay, no matter how far out you are from the exam, and then look into buying BRS Path, and you can also consider doing Pathoma because that's popular, all right? That's how you can increase your path scores for step one. Obviously, I'm going to make more content, you know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.